Good morning. A few days ago, a Chinese doctor in Rome, Italy, operated on a Chinese patient in Beijing. This was the world's first transcontinental remote robotic removal of a prostate, which was cancerous. The operation was conducted about 5,000 miles away with a 5G network hooked up to a set of robotic arms, which means that the doctor and patient don't need to be in the same place. The surgeon sees on a screen what's happening a continent away and moves the robot arms. There was a backup team here in China just in case the satellite fell out of the sky or something and the signal was gone. And I assumed to administer anesthesia, stuff like that. The doctor here says that the biggest problem with remote surgery is the latency issue. There's a slight delay because of the distance that light needs to travel. And the 5G system has a latency of just 135 milliseconds. The ideal range is 200 milliseconds, so they're far below that. Lower number is better here. This is an important breakthrough because it means that the technology works and that the robot arms work. In the future, it's not going to matter where the doctor is. It's not going to matter where the patient is. What's important is where the robot arms are. China is focused on building the robot arms. They get lots of doctors, obviously, and as more and more of their doctors are getting practice on more and more of their robot arms, they're going to take over surgery. That's what this story here means. It's not a feel-good story about a guy in Beijing who got his prostate removed. Good for that guy, no doubt, but the story is that China's 5G communications plus China's robot arms plus Chinese doctors using those arms will be able to perform surgeries anywhere in the world that also uses China's 5G and China's robot arms. This is how we need to read all the news stories like this, all of them. China is going to take over the surgery industry. That's what this headline should say. But that's the least of it. Zhang, Dr. Zhang is a surgeon. Zhang told China's military news service that there are obvious military medical applications here. Also for search and rescue, you don't need a surgeon on site to help badly injured people, just a set of robot arms. Now, he's a doctor, and so he's in the business of saving lives instead of taking them. But it's pretty obvious to me what are some other military uses for this technology. If robots can be remote controlled to operate surgical instruments from thousands of miles away, robots can be remote controlled to operate weapons from thousands of miles away. This is a huge story. China's 5G has solved the latency problem. China's robotics manufacturers have solved the manual dexterity problem for robots doing the most delicate tasks. And they've just done it for prostate surgery. Soon they'll be doing it for lots of other stuff too, limited only by their imagination. This is Xinjiang province, northwest China. Be good. So I can be a good uncle and mother, and be a good father.